What's up, YouTube? I'm Vino511, and this is Vino511 TV. And um, today's topic is Black America, Black Excuses, right? So I just got off the phone with, with my pops. Shout out to my pops. Great dude. Um, but he's hard headed, right? So I love my dad. Pissed me off, but still my dad at the end of the day. Um, difference of, of, of opinions and facts. So to, to start it off, we have a discussion about um, Eric Adams or Adamson, whatever his name is, um, uh, mayoral candidate of New York City. And he asked me, was I voting for him? Um, so I never did like an origin um, YouTube video kind of like explaining my background, where it is that I come from. I, I in a sense, try to keep things um, somewhat PG, I like to say. But um, in this conversation of bl Black America, Black excuses, right? Um, it's it, we start talking about policies and um, what policies I, I I might favor, what policies he might favor, and um, one of the issues was gun laws. So here in New York City, our gun laws are probably some of the toughest. They've always been some of the toughest. Yet and still, um, gun violence in the city has risen um, dramatically um, over the past couple of years. Um, I don't have the actual numbers right now, but it's, it's common. You could just Google it, right? Um, but they have dramatically increased, even though this is one of the toughest states to even carry or, or get a, con uh, a concealed weapon. Um, so with that said, yes, my background is law enforcement. I do come from law enforcement. Um, so I know a, a thing or two about guns and gun laws. Um, so we having this discussion and his excuse for the crime in the black community is the white man, white people, white, the white folks are responsible for the crime that happens in the black community so he poses a question who is responsible for the guns in the hood is it is he is it the white man um that is selling all of these weapons to the black people for black people to then do what so i asked him a question i said who's responsible like who's who's the one doing the shootings he refused to answer the question. This 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 question kept repeatedly being asked because I'm very persistent in how I question people. So I asked him. I say, "Listen, Dad. Okay, all right. I'm I'm hearing you out. You're you're yelling. You're, you're taking it up here. I'm trying to I'm trying to be reasonable here. And I'm like, Dad, who who's responsible for the 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 murders against black people in our neighborhoods?" I'm not going to answer that because just because you come from law enforcement, you want me to think like how you think of, of law enforcement. And I'm not going to change the way that I think. So I'm like, but, but that can you answer the question of who's the one doing the, the, the killing in our neighborhoods? Like, is it the white man doing this? Like, is the white man coming to the hood, killing Pookie and killing Ray Ray? Um, is the white man responsible for that? And, and the answer is obviously no. Like we do know, and this is what, when I say black, black America, black excuses, is because we do know what happens in the black communities, yet we tend to ignore what happens in the black community. Or we try to sweep it under the rug and act like people don't see what's happening. So the, the if we looked at the FBI statistics and we look at black on black crime, oh God, did I just say black on black crime? If we look at black on black crime and, and we look at the numbers and we see um, how many of our people who look like us kill people who look like us, compare that to the numbers of, I don't know, white people coming into the black neighborhoods and killing black people. What do you think that would be? I mean, just a guess, like without even doing your research, like what do you think? would would 
would be the answer to that question. Are you prepared enough to answer that? Like that that's basically what it is. Are, are people honest enough to answer the questions and be real and stop making excuses for the failures and the choices that people are making when they're out there making bad, doing bad behavior and making poor decisions in life. It is not the white man's responsibility for you to conduct yourself as a, a, a good citizen of this country. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, I, I don't understand the excuses of, oh, the white man is the reason why all of this is bad. The last time I checked, there isn't anything in this country that a white person can do that a black person can't do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I checked, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a thing that they can do that we can't do. And then that's going to bring up the argument of when I say black America, black excuses of what about white privilege? Or people like to say, what about white on white crime? Nobody brings up the facts of white on white. But but that's to that's to distract you from saying, like, do white people or white communities, I should say, have the same issues that black communities have? No. No, and no, they don't. So why is it that people like to come up with these excuses of when I say black on black crime, it's a problem. What about white on white crime? I don't care, we're not, I don't care. We're not talking about white on white crime. We're talking about the very, one of the, one of the biggest issues in our community is black on black crime. Like when I see when I see police, because I'm going to talk about law enforcement, when I see law enforcement and I see police officers in my neighborhood and I'm walking with my lady, my lady doesn't clutch her purse because she's scared that, you know, um, officer such and such is going to run up on her with a gun and shoot her and, and me. No, but ha what has happened is I've been walking down the street and my lady has axed to cross the street because she sees Pookie and Ray Ray up the block on the same side of the street that we are why is that because we 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 as a people are afraid to admit that we are genuinely afraid of people who look like us and i would in the in the very same neighborhoods that we live in we rather blame it on oh it's the white man's fault that we live live in these conditions we live in the hood if you treat a a a, a, a space is just a space how you treat that space how you occupy that space is what it's going to be so the very ideas of i don't know treating your your project apartment like a condo or treating your area like luxury buildings meaning if your dog shits on the floor you actually clean up the shit on the floor or if you're coming from your luxurious project apartment or someone else's luxurious project apartment with the bathroom that works why is it that y'all peeing on the staircase why is it that y'all peeing in the elevator why is it that y'all throw trash outside of y'all windows because it's the white man's fault black america black excuses it's the white man's fault for the for the conditions that the black man lives in i i don't i don't buy into that that narrative i i don't understand that narrative i'm even i'm not even dressed properly to be like when i when i come on here like i like to dress a certain way but i just had to get this off my chest because I'm, I'm actually about to go um finish working out and i gotta go pick up something so i'm not even uh you know, portraying myself in the best image that I want, that I like to portray. If black people would, would 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 start to think about how it is that they project themselves on uh, out into the world, like maybe you might get treated a little bit differently. But I just, just got a call on my phone. But um, I say that to say this: I don't I don't buy into any of the narrative. Um, you are responsible for the decisions that you make your choices you're responsible for you you can't save everybody and and 
and even having a conversation with an older gentleman like my dad, who I, I love. Let's not let, let's not get it confused. I love my dad. I love my dad. So, but it's it's just hard dealing with people who have that mentality. And and granted, like my my dad is an older man from the from the south, so he might have you know bring you know past traumas growing up from where you know where he come from. So. I, I'll take that into consideration of some prejudice that he might have. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we can't continue to have this this version of black America with these black excuses. I'm Vino 511. If, if you like today's, um, I guess, today's video or whatever, um, like, subscribe, comment, um, show your support. I'm an up and coming new YouTuber. I wouldn't even say up and coming. I'm just beginning. Um, so if you like it, like, subscribe. I'm Vino511, and I'm out.